Good morning, folks. The Solar Dynamics Observatory is down this morning, at least the data feed is, so we'll work a little harder to analyze space weather, but the universe has dropped gifts on us last night, and it's one of the top news days of the year so far. Let's get to it over at spaceweathernews.com. The SDO images stopped updating around 8 p.m. Eastern last night, so we're going to go SXI over at NOAA. Very calm day. Not much is happening. We're going to reverse the color and make any flaring or ejections really stand out. Doesn't appear we've got anything there either. So let's confirm the calmness on the Proba 2 swap, updating very nicely and also showing the surface motion around the southern coronal hole. By the way, it has migrated backwards a touch and will face Earth tonight for another brief quake uptick entering the weekend. But alas, despite the calm seen on the Earth-facing disk, there is a modest CME seen leaving the sun here on Soho. As you might have guessed, it came off the far side of the sun and is not directed at Earth. This is Stereo A, looking at the sunspots that were facing us days ago, getting very active now that the Earth-facing quiet isn't around to silence them on the far side. Meanwhile, that quiet has this half of our star down in the lowest A-flare range, and the sunspots are looking pitiful. Solar wind here. You can see some instability to the stream the last half day, but it looks like a little candy model of a coronal hole stream by comparison to recent events, and a touch of instability is all it was able to produce in Earth's magnetic field. You ready for our top stories? They have now literally done everything in terms of the search for life in our solar system other than find it. Not only do we have water worlds as moons of both Jupiter and Saturn, and not only are there underground oceans and heat sources and organic materials, but there is abundant hydrogen picked up as H2 gases, which could fuel life formation and sustain the energy budget of the environment. It is my bet that within 10 years, everything in our Star Water series will be confirmed. And folks, you can find it for free over at suspiciousobservers.org. Up next, scientists say they found a dark matter bridge between galaxies and the cosmos, except they've only stacked images in the optical and near-infrared, which means they are actually tracking actual readable mass and not dark matter. The only reason they say it's dark matter is because it forms a bridge between galaxies and there are no X-ray or strong radio emitters in that zone. However, for this to be deemed to be dark matter pulling the real matter into the bridge via attraction, one would first need to rule out the possibility of material being forced or attracted along a vector by something else, especially between objects, by something other than an invisible made-up particle. Who said we were done? We're not done, and oh boy, here comes the sun. A new paradigm of space weather has been born in the mainstream after gestating in the alternative communities for years. As opposed to an internal dynamo, allow me to introduce to you the concept of magnetic instability. Driven by surface activity and the magnetic field interactions above the eventual sunspot place, at the source and externally. The turbulent convection creates the sunspots rather than destroys them and is a beautiful connection to earth spots and earthly storms which follow all the same rules. For reference, saying sunspots start at the tachocline is like saying weather pressure cells originate at the mantle transition zone. Just has never made any sense. This is better. Magnetic instability propagating downward and focusing magnetic fields on the eventual position of a sunspot. One more, folks, a definitive solar stamp on the climate, especially for Europe. The North Atlantic Oscillation is quite modulated by solar activity on a slight delay, and when the sun enters grand minimum this century, the polar vortex events will break records almost every year. You can learn more about the expected solar effects in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, available everywhere books are sold, and also in PDF form for a much cheaper price, and you can just read it on your device. Right now, we've got the pressure and radar forecast, a null school run up through the atmosphere, and what shots of our star are possible given the SDO blackout. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.